Welcome back, everybody, for another edition of Edelbrock Live. I'm here with Eric again. And uh, today we're going to talk about the BRZ FRS and GT86 supercharger. We're kind of just playing off of uh, last week, when, you know, we talked about the Miata import uh, superchargers. And this is the other import supercharger that we offer. Um, unlike the uh, Miata, this one, it, it doesn't get a, a 0.9 liter uh, rotor pack. This one actually gets a 1320 uh, uh, supercharger uh, rotor pack. Uh, so it's a 1.32 liter uh, uh, rotor pack from Eaton, same exact thing as the uh, Miata and all our other superchargers. It's OEM quality, so you know it's going to last. Um, on this one, since it's a little bit bigger, we're actually able to squeeze a little bit more power out of it. Um, the Miata was right around 200 horsepower at the wheels. This one, we got it up to 242 horsepower and 188 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Um, for a car that, that size and rear-wheel drive, I mean, it really does wake it up. We had our own project car here, it was a BRZ FRS1, uh, yeah, what was it, a BRZ I believe it was. BRZ. Yeah, yes. so it was a BRZ, we fixed it up, um, we actually took it road racing and stuff like that. Um, just like all our other kits, they're all bolt-on, uh, so it's out of the box, you don't have to cut or weld or anything, it's all direct, uh, direct fit, and uh, Eric's going to talk a, bit, a little bit about the uh, oil system on this one. Yeah, so like just like all the other Eaton rotors out there, this features a 100,000 mile uh, service interval between the oiling system, which is really great. And it's funny, I had a question come up from an outside source earlier this week. The guy is looking at buying a used, it was a truck system. Okay. And he's like, hey, the truck's got 50,000 miles on it. The blower's got about 40,000 miles on it. Is it worth buying? I said, yeah, dude. I said, that oil's good for 100,000 miles. Oh, yeah. I said, you still got 60,000 miles of, of oil left in it. And even then, after that, it just means it needs to be serviced. It's yeah. not like it doesn't, it's broken, it doesn't it's, work anymore. It's so. pretty much draining the oil and replacing <laughs> yeah. with new oil, and that's Which, it. Exactly. And even, honestly, at that point, you're going to want to have it rebuilt. And, you know, even to rebuilt, just go pretty through and take a look at it. it. Yeah. yeah, take a look at it, see how it's doing. But so, yeah, that includes the typical, what we, any, all, any system we get from, or any rotor packet from Eaton has that 100,000 mile uh, warranty. Um, this also includes an Ecotech programmer, so that comes with the kit. It's also available, the kit's available without that for like a shop or somebody who's already purchased one of those programmers and done some tuning before, maybe with a cold air or an exhaust or something, they can buy the kit with and without. Um, and this kit also features the uh, integrated bypass valve for a minimum decrease in economy. And what we mean for that really is, this would be real, if you're buying a supercharger, you're not going for fuel economy, um, you're gonna lose some miles per gallon, that's a given, you're putting on a boosted application. But what the bypass valve does, it helps relieve that pressure between the intake and the rotors to really get, get you the most Make sure you're getting the best performance and also the best, you know, drivability out of it. So yeah, this be real. Like, we've had people before go, am I going to, you know, they'll call us and go, am I going to lose mile, a mile per gallon? You know, yeah, you can lose one or two miles depending on how much you're in it, how much you're not in it. It's just a part of it. If you're going to step up to forced induction, you're not going to get fuel economy. Let's be real. Chances so. are you're going to want to go a lot faster and you're, you're going to use that extra, you know, that extra power. Exactly. So, I mean, it's, it just comes with, it's the nature of the beast. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you want to make more power, it takes more fuel and more fuel is loss of you yep. know, fuel economy. But it's not anything dramatic that you're going to lose half of your MPG. That's yeah. the one thing that a lot of people fear, but it, it, that, the bypass valve really helps out. And this is a really unique design. I mean, you, you, a lot of you guys have seen our other superchargers are really compact and that's because we're fitting underneath the hood. They're tight. Like last week, the Miata was super, probably yeah. the most compact system we got. Um, this case, it, we, because of the way that car is, the engine bay is laid out, and the way flat it's built, four, you know. flat four, there's a lot of room. So that's what we had. This has the most unique design of any supercharger we have. It allowed us to have a really long runner, which of course helps out with that, you know, building torque and power down low. Um, it's, and also it's a really, it just, it's a unique, it's a really cool you see, system. Plus it also brings it up off the engine. So it's not so much heat going yeah. on there. The heat soak is not as bad. I mean. The, the actual housing for the rotor pack is the same one that we use in the Jeep as well. It's yes. the 1320 rotor pack, um, just inverted as you can tell, so it actually hangs on the bottom. Um, the runners are nice and long, they're right around a foot, a foot long, and then on the back side is where you have your water to air intercooler as well. Just like every other kit, it doesn't use an actual just air to air intercooler. It, it has its own water system, it's separate from the actual engine. So it has its own little uh, reservoir and you put your coolant in there, it has its own pump and everything. So that way, just in case that something happens to the car or something like that, then you know, you're know you covered, you don't have to worry about it. And we also include with this kit, which is unique, is we actually, and I just slid to the kit shot here, we actually include its own air box. So we have a, actually a high flow air box that we designed ourselves internally to kind of help feed this kit. 
and this thing pulls more than two twice as much air as a normal stock box. Yep. We normally try to use a stock air box just for the reduced cost, but also too a lot of times the box is fine, yep. you know, the routing, the, the flow is fine. We just will change out to a high flow green filter or something exactly. like that. In this case, we're like, you know what, we just need to do, the box needed some some work, so instead of trying to work with a filter, it wouldn't be enough, we actually create a full-on box. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. So you can see here, this is kind of the base system, how you get it. And once again, there, you know, there's a lot going on there, but at the same time, there's a, it's not much um, in the sense of it's really easy. We give you the preformed hoses. I know when we uh, first launched this kit, we gave a kit actually to uh, guys, the guys up in the Pacific Northwest uh, drift office. Oh, and gave right. them a kit and was like, hey, let us know what you guys think. It's kind of like a pre. You know, and man, that one of the compliments that came back was the same we talked about last week. Yeah. Was they love the preformed hoses. Like, man, that's so easy. There's, you know, there's no doubt in the instruction which hose is going where. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it just reduces installation it's, time. It's really a plug-and-play system. And like what Eric was talking about, the air box. I mean, this air box is huge. We've had people request if we actually just saw the intake hit by itself. But being that this thing flows so much, and you actually get a different a math uh, housing. Um, yeah. You'd have to recalibrate the computer, and then that's you. You start messing with the, cal you know, the carb legal stuff and all yeah. that. So I mean, and it's 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 a very unique system. There's a lot of one-offs on this kit, and like and the I think one of the best parts is the way it looks. I mean, oh, it's it's, it's, it's crazy looking. I mean, I've gotten everything from it looks <laughs> like a crab to a spider to oh, yeah. people. I mean, once you have it in the in the car, I mean, it, it just looks very very unique, yeah. and you almost can't even really tell that it's a super truck. It's one of my favorites. I like it just because we got some red accents going on yeah. and just a cool design. Like it's neat that we kind of let. We kind of let the, the engineer do his thing with it, but also yep. too, at the time before we came to market, we reached out to some people in the industry, you guys like D Sport Magazine, yep. um, some of the other accounts, and said, "Hey, what do you guys think about it?" And kind of did some secret testing, and they were like, "Oh, this looks good. That looks good." Yeah. You know, because we kind of admitted, like, we you know it's it was such a unique vehicle. It's our first time back well, in the import in the, scene. Yeah, exactly. It's like we need some help there on what it looked like, and I think what came out, like I said, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. It's just so. Unique look, and anytime we have this on display, people kind of do that head turn, like, what yep. is that? You know, and then it kind of sparks the conversation. Um, another great thing about it, too, is this is 50 state emissions legal. Yep. So that's uh, something that we have a stage one kit, it's 50 state emissions legal, which is great because that's a big thing that, you know, Especially of course. Especially for everybody here in California, yeah, you know. Absolutely. And uh, the, like Eric was saying, it's all emissions state le uh, California state legal. Um, the cool part about this one, since it is a bigger rotor pack, unlike the Miata one, you can change the pulleys. On the Miata one, you can and get a little bit of boost, but it, because it's such a small rotor pack, there's not much give there. On this one, we've had shops push up to well over 400 horsepower on E85 and stuff like that. Of course, with supporting mods and a built engine. Um, but I've seen guys just with uh, their own custom calibrations with the Stage 1 kit, pushing close to 300 horsepower at the wheels. I mean, it's... It's a pretty stout kit. It's well, really, really good. And it's good. funny you say that because we just got a chime in from uh, Michelle Abate. So uh, Michelle Abate is one of the racers that we sponsor. Yep. She has this kit on her FRS, and she races an SCCA and a couple other classes. Yep. And she is, you know, uh, yeah, she's, she's actually says best kit out there for this application. And she would know. She's pretty much punished that kit for, yeah. for two years on her car and, and pretty, much, pretty much proven it out. I yeah. mean, that's the thing about it. We saw a stage one emissions legal kit, but this kit, like, like Eddie said, with a few changes, can be adapted to a full race application. And I mean, there's guys pushing, I mean, I think counter space locally here in California yeah. is pushing a lot of power out yeah, of one right now. From what I heard, it's between four to 500 horsepower yeah. at the wheels out of this kit alone. I mean, and it's it's a bone stock kit just with a change of a pulley and of course the supporting yeah. mods and built engines. Stuff 85 like that. and all kinds exactly. of good stuff like that. But the, yeah. that's the cool part is that when you buy this kit, just the stage one, it always gives you that elbow room to, in case down the road, you do want to push the limits of your car, you want to build up your engine, stuff like that. You know, I mean, I've seen guys that, I've, uh, from what I, I, I understand, the FA20, the weak point is the, the, the rods. Yeah. I've seen guys that just change the rods out, put some more boost in it, and there you go. You make an extra 50, 60 horsepower at the wheel. It's crazy it's from such a small car. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's, a two, it's a two-liter engine. It's, it's tiny. A, and it's a fun car to drive. I remember I drove this uh, our application. We had our FRS, actually our BRZ. I drove it for a weekend. It was a fun little car. Yeah. I mean, just really a lot of power. Uh, the great thing about it, too, is if you guys, we didn't have it with us today, but if you take it, go to our website, check it out, the, the dyno graph for this. Um, our calibration guys spend a ton of time to really smooth it out because this car does have a dip up in the RPM range and it's really at a weird spot where a lot of guys don't like it and a lot of the turbo kits out there just replicate that. They don't really fix it. Our guys spent months 
calibrating and smoothing that out. So when you see the power curve, it's nice and linear and smooth, and it just delivers that power. It's just, it's, it's just the endless pedal. You just hit it and it goes. So that's, again, something that we've spent a lot of time on. We have a full team here. A lot of people say that it pretty much when you add one of these kits to the car, it, only, it just it doesn't feel like you have boost. It almost feels like you just put a bigger engine in the car. And that's what, we're, that's what we strive to do is to make it seem just completely seamless. It just uh, you just have that instant power. It's not you know kicking in like crazy. It's just nice and smooth and linear. Got you a, any questions on that? Yeah, I got a couple of questions. I have somebody asking about an EcoBoost supercharger. Um, unfortunately, no, we do not have one. This person's looking to do a multi charge, oh, yeah, and we no. don't have one at this time. Um, but it's you know like anything, it's we're always looking at new app, new platforms. So just check back, and who knows? But we're definitely looking in all kinds of different stuff. Yeah. But no, not for the EcoBoost. Uh, I have somebody asking. We shipped to Belgium. Um, you know, that's a very good question. I know we do ship internationally. I know we do have accounts internationally. So I don't know if we directly ship off of our website to Belgium. I think we just ship to the States right now. You can now. always look at the dealer locator on yeah. our website. Yeah, Go definitely. in there, you know, type in where you're at, and they'll tell you the closest dealer to where you're at pretty much. Yeah, actually, and it's cool because yeah, with these guys, we actually open up a lot of these accounts direct. So the nice thing about it is, is if you find somebody that's dealing it, they most likely will be an installer as well, mm -hmm. which is good. So it lets you know there's somebody in your area that can do the installation for exactly. you. Um, I think that's about it in a way of uh, questions kind of looking around. No, I think that's it. Pretty just much to, on the questions. Right before we close out, I just want to touch on the, the uh, price for the kit. So we have two kits available. It's with the tuner and without the tuner. Um, with the tuner, you're looking at about 5700 bucks, and without the tuner is uh, 4700 So if you're one of those guys that already bought an EcoTech and you want to just install the base, you know, the base tune, you can get the base tune from us, load it up to your, your EcoTech, and then flash your car, and you're good to go. Yeah. yeah. Got one last question. I had Kurt uh, Finnerty from, I don't know where he's from, but it looks like he's asking if it's TUV approved, which if I, I'm not real familiar with that, but I think that is the European version of CARB. Uh, so I do not think so, no, but I do know that, again, if somebody's selling it over there, that, that we didn't do it, but I do, do know we have some accounts like on the Mustang and Camaro side that yep. have actually taken our kit and got a TUV approved. So if it's happened, uh, we don't know about it, yeah. but definitely, like I said, again, hit our dealer locator, find a dealer near you that can support it, and, and they would probably be the best ones to answer the question, especially if you're international guys, good stuff that, you know, you know, sometimes me and Eddie, we don't know about it until yeah. we get a question. But, <laughs> I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> yeah, I just, I've, I've been familiar with this. I think I've, I've heard it used before, so I'm sure it's their, their version of CARB. Gotcha. So yeah, I think that's about right. it. Well, that does it for uh, today's episode. If you guys have any questions, again, just leave them in the comments. We'll, we'll do our best to answer all your guys' questions, and we'll see you guys next week. Take it easy. Take care.